What is going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part, we're going to continue working with our barricade upgrade menu. So let's go ahead and get started with that by opening all of the files that are within that barricade folder. So first thing we want to do is work with our share.lua file. I just want to go ahead and add two more variables here. And these two variables are just going to be keeping track of the current upgrade level as well as the maximum upgrade level. So let's go ahead, pop these right below this section here. You can put them wherever you want, but let's call this ent.current health level. And set this equal to one, that'll be the default level. Then ent.max health level. And I'm just gonna have a maximum of five. So when if it comes down to it, they won't be able to upgrade past level five. So that's all that we need with our shared.lua. Let's go ahead and move on to our init.lua file now. And let's go ahead down right to the net message sending section. And all I want to do here is just send over two variables. And the first thing I want to write is just the entity, so net.write entity. And the entity I want to write is whichever one we are currently working with, so we're just going to use self. Next up, I want to go ahead and write an integer, which will be the current health of the entity, so net.write int self colon health. And this takes in a second argument, which is the amount of bits. And for this, I only need 11 bits. If you don't know what to set this to, just go ahead and set it to 32. After that, we are done with the init.lua file. So let's go into our seal underscore init.lua file and actually receive these values now within our net.receive function. So right at the top here, I want to go ahead and grab the entity. So local ent. And this is just going to be equal to net.read entity, like so. Then I want the entity's name, so local ent name equals ent colon get class. Then lastly, I want to go ahead and grab the health that we are passing in as an integer. So local ent health equals net.read int. And because we are passing this with 11 bits, I also want to go ahead and set this first argument to 11 bits as well. After that, I want to go ahead and actually draw these values on the screen. So right in our upgrade menu dot paint function, right below the rounded box drawings, I want to go ahead and draw three things of text. The first one being draw dot draw text with the string ent name colon, and this is something new here, g sub with the pattern of the up caret, followed by the percent sign in L. This is go ahead and grab that first character in whatever string we're passing, in this case, the ent name. So for the barricade, it'll be the B. And all I want to do with that character B is just do string dot upper. This way, when we go ahead and see it in game, instead of it looking like this, it'll go ahead and look like this. It'll just have that first letter capitalized, make it look a little bit more appealing. After that, I want to go ahead and set the font type, and I'm going to use Derma Large. And you can go ahead and create your own font for this. Otherwise, just use some of the built-in ones like I'm doing here. And I want to set the X value to 10, Y value to 35. The color of the text is just going to be white because it'll make it a lot easier to see on this dark gray that we have set right up here. And lastly, I want the text alignment to be text underscore align underscore left. Next up, I want to draw some more text, so draw dot draw text. This one will contain the health, so health concatenate, oops, concatenate onto that the ent health, and concatenate onto that a forward slash, add onto that the ent dot base health. So this way we'll get a value such as 50 out of 50 to start out with. When that entity gets damaged, it'll become something like 45 out of 50 and so forth. After that, we want to go ahead and set the font type. This will be trebuchet24. This is another built-in font. Again, you can go ahead and make your own font. Otherwise, use the built-in ones like I am doing here. The X value of 10, Y value 65. Color, we are going to set this equal to white once again to make it easier to read on the dark gray that we have set for this D frame. And then text underscore align left. Lastly, we want to do draw dot draw text one more time here. And this will contain the upgrade 
for the max health. And we want to go ahead, do like that, concatenate onto that the current level, so ent.current health level. And this is just the variable that we have in here. Then after that, we want to concatenate a forward slash onto that, followed by the ent.max health level. So now the player will know what the current health level is, as well as the maximum they can upgrade it to. So this will go ahead and start out as 1-5. And then we want to concatenate one more thing onto that, which is just going to be the price of it. And because we are not yet checking to see what the price is, we don't have the code for that yet, I'm just going to set it to a default value of 100. And in the next part, we'll go ahead and actually make that change whenever they upgrade it. And we want to go ahead and set this to trebuchet 24 as well, with an x value of 10, y value of 125, and again a color of white with a text alignment of left. So that's all that we need with the drawing of the text. We can go ahead and go into game here now and just check out what we have so far. If I press E on it, you can see that we have the barricade or the entity name with the health and then that line that we just finished there. And if I go ahead and shoot this, you can see that this goes from 50 slash 50 to 45 slash 50. So with that being said, we have one more thing to add so we can actually upgrade the health for this entity. And that is creating ourselves a button. I'm just going to call this local upgrade button. I'm going to copy that so I can go ahead and paste that where I need it. And so this equal to vgui.create d button like so. And I want to make this upgrade button a child element of the upgrade menu, which we created right up here. So I want to go ahead and set some values here. The first one being the position. So set pause. And I'm going to set this to x value of 10, y value of 155. Then the text of it, set text. And it's going to say upgrade max health. Again, you can set this to whatever you want. You do not have to set it to what I have set here. And then we want to go ahead and set the size of it. This will be 120 by 50. And one last thing here is we want this to do something when we click on it. So we could do this by doing upgrade button dot do click. Setting this equal to a function. And just like any function, end it off. Now in here we want to do a couple of things. The first is set the base health value. So end dot base health. I'm just going to do something very simple here and just do ent.basehealth times 2. So if the starting value is 50, it'll go to 100. Upgrade again, it'll go to 200, and then so forth. And then we want to do ent.currenthealth level. Set this equal to ent.currenthealth level plus 1. And then we want to do the ent health and set that equal to ent.basehealth. So save that. Let's go ahead, head into game now. And if we press F4 to spawn this in, we press E on it, you can see that we have the barricade name, the health, the upgrade max health, and now the button itself. And whenever we click on the button, if you look at the health here as well as this value here, you can see that they go up. So it went from 50 to 100, this went from 1 to 2, upgrade again will go to 2 to 3, and go to 200 up there. And keep doing this even past that max level because we are currently not checking the current health level and comparing it to the max. So that will be for next time. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.